Hi there. Wherever you are, I hope you're safe and well. Welcome to this presentation on the gospel, good news for a troubled world. If you found this talk, which you obviously have, then you'll see that we have several other talks on our page that look at the various troubles that we as a world are facing. The last half of 2019 and all of 2020 so far have been pretty much disastrous on a global scale for a large number of very well documented and still ongoing reasons. I'm not going to look or talk any more about the fact that we as a global community are what you could call troubled. For today, we're taking that as a given and feel free to check out some of the other talks. Okay, so what is this gospel and why is it such good news? If you type gospel into Google, one of the definitions that you'll get is the message concerning Christ, the kingdom of God and salvation. The word gospel itself literally means good news. So the definition then can become the good news concerning Christ, the kingdom of God and salvation. In very basic terms, the Bible tells us that God allowed his only son to die as a willing sacrifice for the sins of all humanity. Romans 6 verse 23 from the New Living Translation tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. As descendants of Adam and Eve, we're all sinners. And the harsh reality is that based on the Bible teaching and as what you can see in that verse there, we deserve death. And yet God, through his love, has provided another way. John 3 verse 16 from the New King James Version of the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. The Bible has a lot of detail in it about Christ's life, his death, resurrection to immortality, as well as the fact that he will come again to heal the earth, right all wrongs, and set up the kingdom of God on the earth forever. Talking about this future kingdom and what things will be like, Revelation 21 from the New Living Translation says, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. I think you'd agree that this does sound like good news for what is definitely at the moment a troubled world. But there's even more good news. Because anyone who wants to, and is willing to try their best to do what God asks, can be part of this incredible future. The offer is still open. And if it sounds interesting, then get hold of a Bible and check it out for yourself. There's more info available on our website knowyourbible.com.au 
or if you'd like some help or have questions, you could contact us at knowyourbibleoz at outlook.com. Bye and thanks for listening.